What's up, you guys? Sorry, let me let me get myself ready here. <laughs> that was funny. <clears throat> What's up? What 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 up? Give you guys a few minutes. Francisco coming in hot with the questions already. She. <laughs> uh, give give me a few minutes. Let me just wait for the others to join. Uh, for more people to join, and then I'll start answering some questions. Tell me, you guys, how's everybody's day so far? What's today? Wednesday. Thursday? Today's Thursday. Sheesh. I don't even know what day it is. How's everybody's day so far? And let me know in the chat. Where are we from? Alright. We're getting there. All right. Let's see what we got here. So I got my website open, Teachables open, my tools open. I want to go over this with you guys. Uh, still have to fix this. And then I got my codes here. And then Discord. Cool. Okay. Alrighty. So let's let's dive into this. Hopefully we can, you know, hopefully I can get done by like 12 maybe 12.05 the latest like 30 minutes all right so let's let's start i guess uh francisco what's up dude uh det from iran that's awesome no more for you <laughs> no more for you no more for you <laughs> how's it going man i'm doing well how are you thanks for joining the stream um Hey Alex, worst mistakes while cutting hair. Um, worst mistakes, maybe I'll even write them down in the chat. Maybe not in in no order. I'll just say uh, maybe cutting too much hair off at once. Um, maybe another one would be uh not well there's a there's a million things i mean i've got in my course i've got a whole bunch what section is it here i got a section six biggest things to avoid i've got 17 plus there's there's a few more in the boat in the section 10 for like the updated uh videos like like newer videos there's like 20 of them <laughs> bunch of mistakes uh so i'll just list like two i guess Cutting too much hair off at once is one. Um, not spreading the guidelines uh, enough is another one. I would say something like that. Cutting definitely, I think cutting too much hair off at once is definitely a problem. Um, yeah, you want to start start small before you start <laughs> ripping up, you know, inches off your head. Start small so that you know exactly what you're you're taking off, especially if you're new. Um, and then not spreading the guidelines enough. So if you're, you know, if your guidelines are like a quarter of an inch, and like you think that the fade's gonna be gradient enough, you know, push that bad boy to a whole inch. Make each guideline a full inch, you know, for each different guard length. So that way you can spread out the fade more, make it more gradient, give yourself some room to work, things like that. Um, are you a barber? Uh, 
What do you guys think? You guys think I'm a barber? <laughs> Am I a barber? Recise. Hope your real estate stuff is going well, sir. Thank you. Real estate right now is is a huge shamble. Um, mark the market right now is is a uh, is. Whew. Listen, within the next three to nine months, May, the th next three to nine months, the market is going to uh, hit the floor in many, many, many cities, uh, starting in the West Coast, and then it'll slowly get to the East Coast. But many cities around the entire country of the United States are going to hit the floor. They're going to get smacked. Um... But no, as a as a barber, <laughs> as a barber, no, I'm not a barber. I've never been a barber. I've never wanted to be a barber. I've got no intentions of becoming a barber. All of that stuff is just, you know, it's not me. You know, I started cutting my own hair to save money, right? There's just like everybody else that watches my channel. Millions of people watch my channel. I started just like them and myself. We all start cutting our own hair. One, to save money, and two, to save time. And then three, I mean, it's a skill set you, that you'll have forever. So you'll be, able to, you'll be able to save money and time forever. So it's huge, you know. If you're 20 years old right now and you, and you know how to cut your own hair, you're going to be cutting your own hair until the day you die, right? Like, what if that's like 50 years, 60 years, like... That's 60 years of savings on time and money, like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. You know, I'm a self hair cutter. I'm not, not a barber, not a licensed barber whatsoever. Never wanted to be. Don't plan on it. Um, but I do this because it's fun and it's very helpful. I know nothing about cutting hair, but I would like to become a barber here in California. Yeah, I mean, for sure. Um... If I, if I were to su suggest something, being a barber, um, I would say be a, be a travel barber. You know, not only will you be like out on the road and like, you know, getting, you know, the site and, you know, unless you're in like LA or some crazy part where there's traffic galore, you know, I think being a travel barber would be really, really cool, especially because you can make more money, charge more, make more money. Um, and you know, there's a premium for that stuff. So it's like your gas is going to be paid for your tolls, all that stuff. You can, you, you can account for the time it takes to travel to get there and you can just charge a premium for all this stuff. Just be a travel barber. I think that'd be cool. Um, it was great. It was great to watch your channel during lockdown. Thanks. Genghis Khan. Gen no. Genghis Khan. I can't read. <laughs> that's funny man Alex is a day trader <laughs> yeah I, I nibble in it I nibble in it I actually just uh, just won a big trade for like three, four, 300 and 400 pips actually more it was 600 my initial trade was 600 so yeah I dabble check out my second channel if you guys want to want to learn more about how I read the charts and understand the economy. Really, that's that's like the biggest part about it. It's not even making money from trading is like, that's definitely a part of it. But when you can read the charts, um, you understand what's going on in the economy, like incredibly, like way before anybody even notice, knows what's going on. Like I knew Bitcoin was going to drop like over a, a month and a half ago. I knew Bitcoin was going to drop from 44,000 and today it's at like 28,000 and it's, it's going to drop to like 18,000, if not like somewhere between 18 and 24,000. So it's still got another five to $10,000 to drop. <laughs> um, anyway, EU here, we're 10% inflation. Cutting your own hair is the future. It's the future. <laughs> exactly. It is the future. It's the future, especially because because of this, uh, because of the, you know, the thing going on in the world where people are getting sick, you know, people just don't want to be touched by other people. And like, it's like that you have that aspect, too, where people are like scared to be around other people. It's like really sad. 
but like you know don't don't even think of it like that just you know it's expensive inflation people barbers have to pay depending on what city you're in some somebody reached out to me yesterday from new york and they were like oh yeah barber in my discord actually here if you guys aren't in my discord um what's my discord link she tried to get what i gotta get the discord link but uh yeah we've got like 86 members right now on discord so if you guys aren't in discord definitely jump in on discord uh link oh the link's in the description what am i saying links in the description <laughs> but uh he was saying um you know he, barbers are charging like 50 dollars plus per haircut in new york and then another guy in the discord was like oh yeah same thing here in san francisco and if you get a haircut twice a week that's literally a hundred dollars a month just on haircuts and they were complaining because prices are so high it's like why am i paying a hundred dollars a month for haircuts and it's like well you live in a state where taxes are between 20 and 40 percent so barbers have to make profit somewhere somewhere right so the only way they can make profit is if they charge more money for the haircuts because they're getting taxed out the wazoo uh you know when they when they you know work when they're doing their job as a barber so it's it's a huge thing that's why it's like cutting your own hair perfect man perfect just literally if you were willing to mess up one two or three haircuts to have a lifetime of savings and really good haircuts what is that like what's three let's say let's say you just destroy your first three haircuts like worst case scenario you suck and you you have to wear a hat or or a hoodie or something right and you look and you look you mess up somehow if you if you just don't follow any of my advice right you got a month and a half of bad hair or two months max you can wear a hat you can wear a cap and then after that you're like okay this and this and this and this and this these are all the little things that i did wrong let me correct these next time or if you join the course i will tell you exactly what you did wrong in a private one-on-one -on -one session through zoom or google meet and i will help you um I believe i have that in my course right here uh get the free course lecture three course free three course lectures right here um here you go private live streams with all course members every week via zoom so if anybody on top of getting the 60 plus high quality videos and teachable access and the private discord community you get yeah 24 7 support too via discord but weekly zoom calls one-on-one -on -one calls just me and you face to face and we can go over everything every concern that you possibly have and can think of you know it's huge it's huge learning how to cut your hair is going to be the way to go you know it's big uh cha 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 it's great you can buy a house appreciate the tips my brother great idea travel around southeast asia cutting hair on the streets uber is cool can meet people and see places yeah no for sure it's definitely definitely a good option to be a, like a travel barber um alex my boy i want to see that dandruff video but i don't want to i don't want big dandruff slash pharma to assassinate you for spilling beans yeah no for sure dude <laughs> i actually just finished the voiceover yesterday and i'm going to start making the b-roll for it um tomorrow am i am i lagging no okay yeah, so I actually, I made the voiceovers. I just finished scripting out the entire thing because I want it to be a perfect video. So I scripted out the entire thing. It's going to be like a 10 or 11 minute video. Uh, I got the voiceovers done already. I just need to do the, the B-roll for, for everything and send it off to my editor. And then by the time that's done and edited and whatnot, probably within the next two months, you'll see the video. So if not by June, by July you'll see the video because I have a lot of videos already scheduled uh, to post every single Saturday. Um, so yeah. Uh, that, that video, listen you guys, for all 14 of you live watching right now, or 12, <laughs> that dandruff video, if any of you guys have dandruff, I hope it helps it's gonna help every single one of you without a doubt um, if you're anything like me without a doubt that dandruff video is gonna help you and I hope it gets 
shared to millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of people. You guys have all seen my self haircut videos where my scalp has looked like trash. Like you look at my scalp right now, it looks incredible. Like no redness, no scaliness, no dandruff, no nothing. Like it's it's like come on, like I just and I said it I said it in the voiceover and I'll I'll give you a little sneak peek, but basically I'm just like, you know, very briefly, but hopefully the video doesn't get taken down you know big pharma or or uh, the food industry doesn't or youtube doesn't cancel me or take me down because of the video you know it's huge and i expect it to be huge i expect it to be a really good video very helpful for a lot of people um alex you should teach at university <laughs> yeah i should become a professor right no it's cool that's why i have the course that's what i'm here on youtube right now for I don't, I'm not. I'm not one for nine to fives. Never been. Never been. I don't like being told what to do by people, especially when when I feel confident and happy doing things the way that I know how to do it. Because I I understand the system has its own way of of wanting to teach the people, and I have my own way of wanting to teach the people. It's not that I don't like being told what to do necessarily. It's it's being led down a path that that that's not my path. Uh, can we get a half drop fade vid? Yeah, <laughs> let's hit 100k <laughs> and then you'll get the half drop fade video <laughs> right after that. After the initial buzz cut video, yeah, you'll get that one next. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, joking aside, I think that video really would make some people mad. No, it definitely would. The food industry and, and Big Pharma would definitely be mad. Um, but yeah, anyway, all right, so now we have that, uh, the Discord. For those of you that want to join the Discord, link is in the description. Let me see, if, can I edit this right here? There you go. If you guys aren't already in, I'm, I'm pretty much, I jump onto the Discord at least once a day whenever somebody like adds me or reaches out. I try to get back in the Discord. I get back in the Discord way faster than I do on Instagram DMs. Um, so if you do want to reach out, probably do it in the Discord. Um, what, is, Enrique, Alex, did you get my email of cutting hair? I did get your email, Enrique. I did. I just haven't opened it yet. I haven't opened it yet. I will do that, if not today, by tomorrow. Oh, and then let's do this. Discount code number one. The discount for today is 28% off the self haircut course. Boom. All right. There's discount code number one, 28% off. Yeah, Brandon, ju all right, just a sidetrack for you guys, because I know a lot of people, even in the Discord, have been telling me to make videos just like spitting some knowledge, right? And there's there's one thing I want to tell you guys. You know, if you don't have health insurance in the United States of America, um, pretty much your health insurance is kind of like the intermediary that negotiates with the hospitals about the price, because hospitals don't give you receipts when you go to the hospital. So the insurance company is technically like a negotiator for you to bring down the cost. Now, if you don't have insurance, it's your job to negotiate with the hospital directly and ask them be like give me like give me a receipt with exactly what I'm being charged for. And then when they give it to you, you tell them hell no I'm not paying that. And then you say bring that down right now. And they will drop the price because most likely, let's say it's like a four thousand dollars they charge you, you do, the actual job itself was probably like five hundred to a thousand dollars, and I've 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 experienced that myself. Uh, a few years ago, I had to go to the hospital, and I experienced that myself. Yeah, you ask for an itemized receipt. Exactly, ask them for an itemized receipt, and then they'll be like, "Oh crap! Like now I have to drop the price." You know, it's a it's. Listen, the health industry is is a huge, huge like just like monopoly. It's such a such a pfft, I don't even want to get into it. But it's there's so many things wrong that just shouldn't be the way that they are. Like health should be to help people. 
should be to help people. But it's it's it, it seems like the opposite. Even though there's there's a lot of people that actually are trying to do good. Goods on country, sir from Kerala, sir from Kerala. Is that a country? Kerala. What in the world? This is a country. Uh, oh, it's a state in India. What? Where is this? Wow, that looks really nice. Kind of looks like Venice. These properties look like they're floating on water. <laughs> wow, okay, cool. Wow, you're from all the way over there. That's insane. Thanks for joining, dude. Thumbs up, thumbs up to your inspiration. So made by showing how to do it yourself. Congrats, Alex. <laughs> nice. You, tr you tried to spell it in Greek. I appreciate that. It's wrong, but you tried, and I appreciate it. I've heard of some people ask for an itemized receipt, and boom, the bill is like 50% lower. Exactly. Now that I'm a young adult, understanding insurance and all that is a pain in the neck. Yep. You should contact Yanis. Show him how to cut his own hair. <laughs> yeah, let me get Antetokounmpo. You know, it's funny. Antetokounmpo's birthday, he's, he's one year exactly older than me he was born december 6 of 1994 i was born december 6 of 1995 <laughs> friggin Giannis, my man yanni and then my cousin's actually one year younger than me same birthday here my second channel is uh the seventh investment on youtube But anyway, all right. Let me jump. Let me jump into what I was gonna start doing real quick. All right. So aside from the weekly live streams and the course itself, um, in terms of like you know the self haircut course and learning how to cut your own hair, because what is a hundred and twenty dollars? It's it's literally pennies. And I know I said it in the in last week's live stream that I was gonna increase the price. Completely forgot. And I'm going to be doing it by tonight, if not tomorrow. So this is going to be more money um, by tomorrow. And I'm not going to forget this time. <laughs> um, but anyway, oh, and if any of you guys need, if you guys want to learn or use the tools that I recommend or whatnot, here's the website for that. Okay, so this is pretty much what I want to talk about. This is like my, my self-haircut course presentation right why is this self haircut course something that you should be looking for looking to buy you know why does it what benefits do you receive by purchasing the self haircut course over you know i guess just the youtube channel and there's there's many and the live streams are one and of course you know you just get me 24 7 you're at, i'm at your disposal whenever you need um, especially if you're in like the middle of a cut and you're like, yo, Alex, what do I do? I'll be like, bet, <laughs> I got you. <laughs> but um, no, um, just to be a little bit more serious, your time, so let's just say, you know, let's say the average person within the United States, let's just say minimum wage, you make $15 per hour, right? So that means your time is valued at $15 per hour if you make minimum wage, right? Going to a barber shop, let's say it's $3 in gas, right? You got to get into your car and you got to drive over to the barber shop, right? It's $3. Let's say it's about 15 minutes, 15 minutes to get to the barber shop, 15 minutes to get home from the barber shop. So you've got tolls, right? Tolls is $2, let's just say. And then driving, if it's 15 minutes to the barbershop and 15 minutes back, that's 30 minutes total, right? So 30 minutes out of your time is half of $15 per hour. So it's $7.50. Now, because most barbershops, you don't just walk through the doors and then jump into the chair to get your hair cut. No, they make you wait. Let's say on average, 30 minutes because they've got to cut somebody else or they're, they're talking to their buddy next to them, uh, whatever it may be. There's another 30 minutes in waiting to get into the chair, 
right? That's not even getting your hair cut. It's just to get into the chair. So you're sitting in the waiting room for 30 minutes. There's another seven and a half dollars, right? And then the haircut, let's say it takes about an hour to get your haircut done, right? Because they're too busy talking to their buddies or let's say you've got a complex haircut. Uh, your your hair your hair is like a weird texture or whatnot, so it's harder to cut. It takes an hour. There's fifteen dollars right there, right? So fifteen, and that's with time, right? Sixty minutes to get the haircut. That's fifteen dollars of your time, right? Now you have to pay the barber for the haircut, and then because barbers are you know they want their money, you gotta tip them as well, a cash tip. So it's $25 on average if you don't live in New York or California, roughly $25. Otherwise, if you're in New York or California, it's like 50. So, you know, just change the numbers around. So 25 plus the $5 tip, you're at 30 bucks here. So in all actuality, in all actuality, it would take you roughly two hours in time to go to the barbershop to get your hair cut and it will cost you around $65 in total for your time and the cost to get the haircut, right? $65 just to go to the barbershop and get your haircut. If time is valuable to you, then it's then this is big. You know, this is this is only for people that value their time, right? I value my time tremendously, and that's why it's it's hard for me to reply to YouTube comments and why I started doing YouTube live streams so I could you know, actually reach out to those that want to ask me serious questions. Um, okay, so again, keep this in mind. Each haircut, every time you go to the barbershop, is going to cost you $65. So if you do it twice per month, it's $130 a month on haircuts. All right, now cutting your own hair. How much does it cost to cut your own hair? Well, you're not driving anywhere. So gas, tolls, and driving is zero dollars. Um, there's no waiting room because all you have to do is walk 10 steps to your bathroom and then boom, you can start cutting your hair right away. So there's no waiting, there's no driving, there's no tolls, there's no gas. Okay, let's say it takes you 60 minutes as well. It takes you one hour plus cleanup to cut your hair there's $15, right? Your time is worth $15 per hour, $15. Now, how much is the haircut that you give yourself and how much is the tip that you give yourself? Well, you're not charging yourself any money and you're not tipping yourself any money, so it's $0. So in all actuality, this is the only one that matters. It takes you one hour to cut your hair and it only costs $15 per hour, right? So you're only spending $15 for one hour instead of $65 for two hours, right? So savings one hour plus $50 per haircut or two hours and a $100 uh, per month equals two haircuts each month. $100 times 12 months is $1,200 per year, right? And I just subtracted 65 minus 15 to get this $50 per haircut, you know, in savings. This is all for savings. So 50 times two haircuts is 100 bucks. 100 bucks times 12 is $1,200 per year, right? Now let me go back to the chat. What would $1,200 per year in savings do for you if you made only $15 per month? I'm sorry, $15 per hour for your job, right? Let me know in the in the chat. What would what would an extra twelve hundred dollars a month do for you, right? And then I went into a little bit more detail. For fifty dollars per hour, right? Over two thousand dollars a year in savings if you make fifty dollars per hour. What would twelve hundred dollars do for you guys? If you if you value your time, if you're valued at a minimum wage of fifteen dollars per hour, is twelve hundred dollars a lot of money or no? Especially if you look at it in correlation to my course, it's literally ten percent 
which is why I'm so adamant about increasing the price because I know how much money you can save and the course is very very cheap for what it is especially when I involve my time with the, like the live streams and so forth Let's see. So yeah. Uh, all right. Let me start going through the chat here real quick. Nice pick with Parthe. Uh, Parthe with the Parthenon. Yeah, in the background. Yeah, Parthenonas in the background. Man, freaking supercuts is charging twenty two dollars for cutting. Are you serious? See, this is there's there's no reason why anybody shouldn't be at least shouldn't at least try to cut their own hair. Dude, organize a self haircut contest with judges, audience, live stream, best advertising for DIY haircutting. Organize a self haircut contest, like a live stream. Winner winner gets uh, $1,200. <laughs> Alex, I've been watching for a year. My fades are better now than any barber I've been to. Wow, look at that. Congrats, bro. That's awesome. Yeah, keep that up. Tell your friends. <laughs> start Have them start saving money too. I was, dude, you are defo a good salesman. No, it's it. Li listen, sales. It's not even. It's not even sales. It's 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 letting people know what the benefits are, right? Like I'm not just hitting sitting here talking nonsense. Like these are facts. Like I'm writing this stuff down on paper. Like this is what it is. Like being a salesman is just giving the people the facts, and if they want to buy it, great. If they don't want to buy it, great. Like it doesn't doesn't hurt me either. If you if you want to or don't want to, you know, it's not me trying to be a salesman. It's just you know provide the value, state the facts. If people like it, they like it. You know, um, but I appreciate it. <laughs> I do appreciate it because it takes it takes somebody with with you know willpower, you know conviction and knowledge to to want to teach people. You know, teaching people is helps helps people you know want to want to do stuff. How many tutorials are on a course? Uh, the course itself has over 60 videos, 60 plus. Um, there's 60 plus videos. Um, there's 10 sections in total. Uh, this section 10 is like my bonus updated section. So like when I make new new videos, I add them here. Um, like the live streams, they get they get added here. Um, so there's probably like 70 or more videos by now, I would say. <clears throat> um, we are talking like a hundred K in a lifetime. Yeah, maybe. Right. I don't know. What, what is that? If you, if you're, let's say you start at 17, right? The average I guess life expectancy is 77. You start cutting your own hair at 17. 60 times 1200 is yeah, $72,000 in your lifetime. That's a lot of money. <laughs> that's a lot of money. Yeah, that's a lot. Bro, you have helped me save money. Ah, you know what? I forgot. There you go. There's number two to get... 28% off the self haircut course. Boom. There's discount code number two. <laughs> um, bro, you have helped me save money and made me look good the way I want to look. Awesome. Yeah, Marcos knows how, how it is. Yes, sir. There you go, man. See? Learning this skill set will save you so much money, time. It's just, it's the way to go. You know? And then the cool part, it's like one of those cool things that you get from it is when you're walking down the street and someone like compliments you on your haircut, like your mom or you're like your, your girlfriend or like a, a friend that you haven't seen in like two weeks. They're like, yo, crap, dude, nice haircut. Like, that's sick. And you're like, I did it myself. <laughs> and they're like, yo. Um, but yeah, no, it's it, there's like a pride aspect of it. It's like, yeah, I did that shit myself. So it's like, I feel great about it. <laughs> <laughs> um anyway no that's awesome jones aside you 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 saved tons of money been cutting my hair for over a decade now yep by the way super cuts here used to be 15 yeah i know super cuts used to be like 15 bucks 
But it's because none of them are actually barbers. They're like middle aged women that like went to like trade school and like that's like their part time job. You know, they're not actually barbers. They're just there to like kinda do like an average job and then go home. Hello. Uh Shine C S says please say hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> He's from India. My man. My man from India. Alright. Uh that's sweet. Yeah. So um let's see here. Anything else I want to talk about within the course? Ten ten sections. Uh the community. All this stuff is here. Ah yeah. If you guys are just um you're not a hundred percent on the course, just type in your name, phone number, and email right here on my website. And you'll be redirected to a page where I've got uh, free three course lectures. So three lectures from the course directly uh, for free. You can watch them, you know, get an idea of how I teach within the course to see if it, it would be right for you, right? Um, so that's, that's one thing I also wanted to mention. Um, let's see. Here's the teachable. Here's the recommended tools so the tools as well very big um, I've been seeing a lot of uh, people interested more and more with the tools that I've been using I also have my YouTube equipment here as well if anybody wants to know exactly what I use for my YouTube channel and pretty much I don't think everything is on here but most of the things that I use are here um, what else went through this Amazon, I have to change that. Discord channel. Okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty much my presentation for today. I'll just answer a few more questions and then uh, let you guys be on your way. Let me get rid of this last code here for 28% off. 28% off. Uh, self of course, they all expire at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time tomorrow okay each discount code expires uh, by tomorrow at 11 30 in the morning $22 to make my hair look like crap your course will pay for itself <laughs> exactly everything changed when the fire nation is <laughs> that was good <laughs> no more for you you're funny, funny guy. That was good. That was really good. Yo, W is in the chat if you guys uh, grew up watching um, uh, The Last Airbender. <laughs> w is in the chat. Any tip for a lightweight machine for travel slash backpacking? Yeah. Um, I would say... Either the the Suprint right here, this this kit right here that comes with the clipper and the trimmer with the cape, I would say this is probably solid. Um, or maybe just get the Kemi with the Philips Norelco. You know, this is like forty bucks now. I think I think the Norelco is like twenty or twenty five. I'm not sure how much is this. It probably went up because of inflation. Oh no, it's still like twenty bucks. Okay. Yeah, so probably the Kemi plus the Philips Norelco would run you right around the same as this one. And then, you know, these these kits right here, these 9-piece, 10-piece kits are like in like a little box, like this big. So it's like really, really small. Like, yeah, here's the package is right here, this little black package. It's super tiny, very easy and convenient for travel. So yeah, get something like this plus the scissors. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know about the mirror. That's can't really put that in a, in a suitcase but those are the things i would say for 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 travel or backpacking is a 1.5 guard the same as a one guard with the lever half open with the lever half open no no it's not um where is it okay let's go here Google number one guard versus number 1.5 guard 
Let me get some images here, boy. Let me see. Is this it? No, this is the half guard with the... I said number one guard, right? Come on. Okay. What about this one? Come on. Is this one okay? Yeah. Well, I mean, the number one guard is, is basically three millimeters, right? The one and a half guard is four and a half millimeters. When you open the lever, it probably only goes up about one millimeter. So you're missing about half a millimeter in length between the one and a half guard and the one guard. Let me see if I can show it here. Yeah, you see here, it says 4.5 millimeters right here. The one and a half guards 4.5. And then is it was there a one guard here? And it's three millimeters. Yeah. So the number one guard is three millimeters. This is four and a half. So when you open the lever fully, it probably only goes from the one from a three millimeter, it probably only goes to like a four millimeter. So probably only like one millimeter, which is why the four and a half is very useful because it kind of, it, it splits the difference between the one and the two. Because if you look at a number two guard, if I could find that list again, I believe it's six millimeters. So from three to six, that's three full millimeters of length. So you need something in between, which is the one and a half. That's why the one and a half is there. Same thing with the half guard. You need something between the no guard, which would be zero millimeters, to the one guard, which is three. So there's a three millimeter gap between no guard and the one guard, which is why the, the half guard and the one and a half guard is extremely important. You need to have those. It just makes things so much easier. Yeah, can I like copy this? Copy link address, I guess. Just paste it here. Oh, that's a big old link. All right, you guys, you guys saw, you guys know. Um, file Alex, if Haristopoli ke ego Elenas yachara He pretty much said, "My friend Alex, thank you so much," and ke ego Elenas ke ego and. I am from Greece, Yahara, which is like, I'll see ya. You need a haircut ASAP. <laughs> PPSS, um, when we hit 100K, 100K subscribers equals Alex giving himself a number one guard mid fade buzz cut there you go when we hit 100k i will certainly give myself a nice haircut but until that point uh i'm growing out my hair even more w for show are you good at haircut designs i really like the hard part you can do with trimmers i also go for the classic comb over yeah actually i actually gave um I don't want to give too much away, but I, I did two recent haircuts to strangers and I gave them both designs in the video. So you'll be seeing that probably by next month in a couple of weeks, you'll see the first one, maybe a little bit more for the second one. But uh, yeah, you'll start to see more designs, especially now that I have the Babyliss trimmers, really good trimmers. Um, Highly recommend. <laughs> Highly recommend the Babyliss Clipper End Trimmer, actually. But um, yeah, now that I have those, you're gonna start seeing more more designs in my head, especially when I cut my hair when we hit 100K, um, and then others like strangers and whatnot. So, uh, all right. So that's pretty much it. We're in here for 46 minutes. Um, again, if you guys want to check out the course, you can use those discount codes I left in the chat for 28% off. There's only three of them, and they will expire tomorrow morning. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Discord, especially if you have questions about the course or your own haircuts. Let me know in the in the Discord. I usually get back to the Discord, you know, pretty quick. 
Um, and uh, yeah, I will catch you guys uh, next time, right? I don't think we're past this virus stuff, man. I think something will happen again in the future and the channel will blow up again. Hey, man, look. If my channel does blow up because of another like potential virus, fantastic. Um, but uh, hopefully, you know, it's if there is one, everybody is healthy. And you know, you guys know I'm I'm huge on health. I'm huge on fitness. I'm huge on diet. I'm huge on like what you eat is what you give out. Um, so if people can eat better, it's which is why I'm like, oh, the food industry or big pharma don't cancel me <laughs> type of thing. <laughs> so we'll see. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't know what the future will bring, but hopefully, you know, one of my videos, even even if it's not self haircut, blows up and you know, gets gets me to a hundred k or more. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this live stream. Um, new self haircut video. Actually, no, is it a self haircut video? Uh, no, it's not. I don't think. New video Saturday, Saturday morning. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.